avoid men who gossip because they first gossip with you and then they gossip about you. And when you're gossiping, fellas, you're in your feminine energy. It is the least productive form of communication. You're not getting better. You're not getting smarter in any way. Oh, did you see what James did? Oh, he bought a new car. I don't even think that car is his, you know. I think his dad got it and he gave it to him. And just It's just stupid. Absolutely stupid. Listen, man. My take on friendships is a little different to how a lot of these guys on YouTube will tell you to approach friendships. Some of your friends are not going to be entrepreneurial and business minded. And that's fine. You can keep those guys as just friends that you have fun with. You go out and you go bowling with and you play football with. That's fine. Not every one of your friends is going to be sharp and driven like you. That's okay. I'm not telling you to cut those people out like some of these guys on YouTube will say. Because, hey, I have enormous ambition and I know not every guy has it. That's okay. I'm not going to talk crap to them. I'm not going to try and convince them to be as ambitious as me. You know? And I don't think you guys should be convincing your friends. Don't cut them off because they're not as ambitious. Just keep them as friends that you go out and have a good time with. Now, your closer friends may possess a lot more similar qualities to you. Right? They might be ambitious and fun to be around. And, and so that's great. You've got yourself a friend who's quite multi-dimensional. That's how I consider myself. You know, and I enjoy those people the most. People that are driven, ambitious, that like to hit the gym in great shape, that are also fun to be around. That's brilliant. Right? But one thing I do not tolerate anymore is men who gossip. I'll admit that early on in my 20s, I'd hang around some guys and, you know, I'd get sucked into that conversation with them. Just gossip. Just getting dumb. I feel like I'm stupid at the end of the conversation. Just wasted an hour. And I just don't enjoy it because it's usually very negative as well. Think about that. Gossip is usually a negative thing. When people are gossiping about someone, they're not usually talking positively about them. It's usually always, oh, he thinks he's this and that. He, have you seen what his girl did and all that sort of stuff. And it's just, as I said earlier, feminine energy. And your time is very valuable. So when I meet my friends, I want to catch up with them and talk about maybe football and things like that. I don't want to sit there and talk about someone else. I'm here to see you. I'm not here to, to talk about your friend or a mutual friend of ours. And I consider that very snaky. And, and as I said earlier, first of all, they gossip with you. And then they're going to gossip about you when you leave. So if they were negative about one of your mutual friends, you best believe that the moment you leave and that guy meets his other friend, they're going to be talking about you, most likely. So I don't engage in gossip. And if, if someone starts to gossip near me, I'll tell them, listen, man, I'm not here to talk about that. I end the conversation very quickly. And if they don't want to end the conversation, I'm leaving. I don't have time. As I said, when I meet my friends, which I don't do all the time because I'm busy and I've, I've got things to do. But when I do eventually meet them, I want to catch up with them, talk about their life, what's going on, bounce ideas off each other, or just genuinely have a good time. Watch some boxing together or football, whatever it is. All right, so avoid men who gossip. If they're not changing who they are, if they're always gossiping, just change your friends, man. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. You're not permanently tied to a specific group of people. You can get up one day and be like, you know what? I don't feel like being this guy's friend anymore. And you are perfectly reasonable to do that. You have every right to do that. It doesn't make you a bad guy. Because I get messages sometimes from guys who are like, you know, my friend's recently been acting funny and or they've been disrespectful and things like that and I don't know if I should remain friends and I'm like of course not if they're being disrespectful consistently I mean for me the first time someone's disrespectful it depends on, on what they were disrespectful about but if they disrespected me or humiliated me especially in front of someone else never again ever ruthless cut them off never see you again 
you know? I don't tolerate disrespect. And so when these guys message me, I tell them, listen, man, the very clear answer to your question is to cut those people off if you have any ounce of self-respect. That's it. Your time is valuable, fellas. A lot of you guys need to start respecting your time a lot more. You don't have any... How can I put it, man? You don't respect your time. And so that's why when you're around those people, they can talk a bunch of bollocks and you're okay with that. All right, so hopefully this video helps. Avoid men who gossip like the fucking plague. Okay, there's nothing wrong with having friends that are just for fun, as I've talked about before. You can talk about the football and things like that, but when they start gossiping about other people and stuff like that, and it starts getting negative, man, end the conversation right there. Hopefully this video helps. If it does, hit that like and subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.